And there goes a blind reaction of this My Little Pony tragedy video called Sparrow Reads An Act of Kindness My Little Pony Fanfic Reading Tragedy Romance Flutterdash It is 36 minutes and 37 seconds long Oh yes A Flutterdash huh? SHIP Sorry that was loud I'm very sorry for that Okay As you may be aware Flutterdash is my favourite ship and it sailed away on the ocean waves. <laughs> Seriously? Sorry, I have a blip. I really am sorry. Like I said, um, Flutterdash is my favourite ship. Flutterdash is known for her kindness. And I don't know what this story is, is, is about as such. Sparrow did mention to me, or did say to me, when he was doing this story, it's going to make me cry. And he apparently made him cry when he was actually editing the story or right in the story and yeah I don't cry often no I'm more like an Applejack when I cry on the on the inside yes I don't know what this story is going to be about and let's find out let's get this reaction started in three and two and one go okay the reaction started Spyro Reads Spyro Reads, come on I like a little rarity there the act, An act of kindness Okay, here we go that's a very sad piano at first. Man. There's no feeling worse oh, than knowing on! you have to do something. That's so sweet, hard. Bell! But in some demented and twisted nature, it's the right thing to do. Yes, it is. It's or is it? It's me. Why, Rainbow? But I couldn't let my beloved Fluttershy remain a victim of that monstrosity. Oh, I God, what's happened? I let the one I loved fall victim to something Shit! that she couldn't even control. No matter how hard we tried to save her from the darkness that she had been cursed to wander we in for the rest of her. We are right close to Rainbow Dash there. I mean, you it's, mean what? it's life. It's always life. Never before had I experienced such excruciating pain. Feeling as if my heart had been shattered to pieces as if it were made of glass. Rainbow Dash cries so on the inside as well, doesn't she? Me over the edge. Yeah, I believe Rainbow Dash cries on the inside as well. I wasn't. The element of loyalty had fallen and had been replaced with an ungrateful monster that pushed away all of her friends and family. What? All because she refused to accept the harsh reality that had befallen her. The reality that she had no choice but to kill the one she loved in some twisted act of whoa, 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 whoa. her of the control what? of some creature that had bore her form. Flutch I killed? I still remember. Did I hear that correctly? All began. A day I dread. And have come to accept as the worst day of my life. Yep, worst day ever. But perhaps I should start from the beginning. Not bad animation there. Not long after the Flutterbat incident, Fluttershy had begun to experience Flutterbat experience. Du, 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 and as a result, du, 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 du. seek help from her closest friends. I won't bother with boring and pointless details. It will just skip to the things that matter. That's a PNG. To isn't put it, it short and sweet, I became well. the main pony that Flutters came to out of the five. Because you're her, her lover, flight camp, Rainbow. So she felt I understood her the most. Yeah. And honestly, that wasn't a total lie. That, oh my gosh, I twisted it. Those are good animations. Oh, I've done that before. Terrified sort of, of becoming I've done that sort of animation before. And cried to me every time that we met up. I've never been the best with words, but I no. always listened and did my best to assure her that Flutterbat was you've gone been, and was never You've been a back. true friend, Rainbow Dash. Not as a true, as true as friend helps a friend it. in need. She cried each time, and it broke my heart to see her in pain. Oh! So I'd always hold her tight to show oh. her that I was absolutely serious You're talking about, about Flutterbat or Fluttershy? I hated to see her hurt. Technically, the different ponies, away but technically, it's in the same body. Knew before the entire or, Flutterbat am I arguing that correctly? Happened. Fluttershy saw that too, and over time, we grew close. 
closer than we had ever been before. We met up more often than usual, and even began, yep, you guessed it, well, dating. Shit! Now, you're probably wondering how Flutter is not dating. Became, well, a thing. Well, to put it simple, we began to see each other as more than just friends over the months of meeting up, as much as find ourselves acting more intimate towards one another. Ooh! However, the whole truth came out when Fluttershy's nightmares had stopped and was replaced by something else. Oh? Me. You? We didn't know it's until What sort of dream has Fluttershy been having? Out of nowhere, I don't want to think about and it. it. <laughs> and to be honest, I had oh. no idea what to say in response. I just sat completely in shock that Fluttershy of all ponies had just spat out her feelings for some pony like me. Because you're such a bull, that's just why! I heard about the words I had just heard. I... I can't hold it in any longer. I love her! I... I, I've fallen in love with you. <laughs> I mean, how does one respond to something like that? Never did I take Flutters as some pony with an attraction for mares. But as I thought... How Flutter do you know? Have you asked her? Shock and confusion, well, she is a shy pony after all. I had fallen in love with her. But was too blind and stubborn to even think of it actually okay, being true. Okay, thanks. Okay. Holding Sorry. the dumbest expression I could, <laughs> I turned to her. Her head hanging in shame at what she may have just said may have just destroyed our friendship. Uh, I only don't hard feel ashamed about like a loser. showing about your true love. being the culprit. You I, tried to be the culprit? I'm sorry. Oh. Don't be sorry. I'll just leave now. Don't. Don't leave, don't leave. I don't leave. know what suddenly rushed through me following those words, but I just broke out of my trance of bafflement and launched into her. Ooh! Lips meeting hers. We collapsed to the floor in an embrace, and while both of us were completely lost and unsure if what we were doing was right or wrong, maybe that's just still in pain there. We didn't care. And oh, just oh let my gosh, she's about, to, she's about to cry. She's about to cry. moment of romance. Not the romance writer. was one of the best moments of my life. And oh. I have never forgotten one moment of it. The kiss? The kiss, oh. caress, sensation. Yeah. And yeah. just knowing Flourish I loved me as much as I did her is a phenomenon I'll never forget as long as I continue to live. Poor Twilight, though. I don't know how long we no embraced offense. one another. It felt like forever to both of us. Oh. And in our personal eternity, we felt like we were on top of the world. No cares. No worries. Just us. No Alone. problem. Together as one. Forever. One for all! We broke the news to the others not long after, and stayed were happy. for a few months. I think they'll be happy then about that. one evening while resting on a cloud upon Luna's setting of the sun. Flutters proposed, revealing a small box with a, a ring I still wear around my neck what? with a silver chain holding it in place close to my heart. Why should I just post it right with the that? matched my cutie mark, <laughs> I accepted it with not even a single moment of hesitation. Embracing her with a very very shippable and shippable. An amount of joy rolling my type of ship. staining my face. Let's set I was sail. One of the luckiest alive, and was yeah. honestly a mess when it came to the big day. You know, your casual pre-marriage stuff. <laughs> Luckily for me, Apple Are you talking the about the last the narrator? No honesty at its finest. <laughs> I, I I can't, I can't do, it, do it, Applejack. I'm oh, not good, good enough for some mare as perfect as her. Stop being modest, Rainbow! I remember the look it's not like I'm modest! Applying her next words by stomping one of her hooves violently on the floor. Land's sake, girl! Calm yourself! <laughs> Calm yourself, yeah! Immediately, I knew that she was serious. But I was a frazzled mess of emotions, too lost in my own world to even comprehend what she was saying. The next exclamation, though... As Rainbow Dash done that day before, before this! No counting Rainbow of uh, Oh! I jumped at that. I'm not carrying it other, those cases other of um, you know someone is dead fiction. set on getting your attention. And without a doubt, it it's going to be okay, I hope. Do you really love Fluttershy? Do you? Do you? The answer came out as shaky and nearly unrecognizable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then why are you even questioning if she's the mayor for you? Good question. Again, I was nearly unable to answer but somehow managed to mutter out something. You love well, her? Well, because... Because what? I didn't even have a chance to finish my sentence before Applejack interrupted me. Because nothing. Exactly. 
And that was the words that begun the whole parade of brutal honesty. They couldn't have been more That is Applejack's trait for you. She is honest. But it needed to happen. Yes. You've been with this mare for months and haven't yeah. regretted a single moment of But you know her for years though. Well, yeah, so she... would Fluttershy have stuck around if she didn't love you? No, no, but then why are we even needing to have this conversation? Yeah, why? Why, why, Rainbow? Applejack had somehow managed to hit me right where it counted with only three questions. In here, in the heart. Not to mention, she had also summed up the whole conversation and had me completely speechless. Yeah. She only continued to land blows I couldn't recover from, knocking me out cold, slowly, but surely. <laughs> yeah. Ever since you and Fluttershy started dating, I've seen her change drastically in a good way. She's more when happy. she's around you, I see a totally different mirror. And it's because of you that she's not well, scared of the simplest over. things anymore. You've made her braver in the face of danger and more confident in everything she does. The shadow of fate. You oh, yeah. did that, RD. That's why you she helped her. You. Not because you're the Maybe that should give confidence to Fluttershy as well. Not because of your ability to perform the Sonic Rainbow. That's true. She loves you for you. For the you. The way I see it, you two are meant to be together. That's that might be a someone I know. For you she loves me for me. Upon that stage. Am I wrong about that? AJ had hit hard, and everything she had said was That's what she said. true. And I couldn't argue with the truth. Yeah. I sucked up every sense of doubt I had, and with all my confidence, Where is Flush I want to see Flush I loved with pictures. all my being. Walked out of that dressing room, down the aisle, and joined the most beautiful mare in all of Equestria upon the Oh my oh that's like the gaze I, of her that, sapphire blue eyes with that is a, through her veil. Uh, is that a rather That's a rather um, um and the usual vector, kind isn't it? from both of us. We kissed I do like the artwork the there. Happily bound as one for the rest of our lives. That's like my or, very least, similar to the next that's what I got, I actually. Was the case. Oh? The what? story doesn't end with a happily ever after. Oh no. Three years passed, and our life together couldn't have been more perfect, up until Fluttershy's nightmares had returned once again. Each night she woke up in a cold sweat. The bed sheets soaked and damp. Her screams being She so had loud nightmares that before, they woke didn't me she? My slumber. I would always ask her what was wrong, but it wasn't until the third time that she came out with the truth. What happened? Being What's her wrong? wife, I did my best to comfort her, but the nightmares only progressed to the point of where she woke up in tears. Is the nightmares real though? We consulted medical attention after a week of the reoccurring night scares, but it may as well have been a waste of time, the conclusion always being the same. It almost feels healthy. like and a spirit is controlling her. Why am I saying that? I've been watching too many the doctors um, some sleeping medication, haunted the movie, haunted um, investigations. Since the medication didn't help her one bit, we gave up on seeking medication. Medical is help not always and the answer, though. To Twilight for help, hoping that maybe there was some spell that could help to rid Fluttershy of the nightmares. Twilight tried. Why don't you speak to Luna? To she's she's the as far as hypnotism she, to try and find the root of the issue. Hypnotism? That is even dangerous. The end, what can't Luna Twilight help? Could do, suggesting that we go to Sakura for help. With nowhere to turn, Maybe. we followed Twilight's suggestion and went to Sakura for what we hoped was a solution to the issue. Sakura didn't seem stunned at all by the whole thing and resorted oh? to some sort of mind delving potion. Mind? The problem is not one visible to the eye. The answers you seek lie inside of her mind. It's in her mind? That was all Sakura stated. And while neither flutters or I understood exactly what she meant, that sort of thing can kill she you. Had nowhere else to go. She gave Fluttershy half reminds of the Reminds me of a... The other half being for Sakura herself. Mind me of, reminds me of Dr. Colstein going well, in, was, into the mind well, of Annie. Nothing. Nothing. It was kind of similar to when Twilight drank the potion that took her back to the past. Glowing eyes and motionless movement for what felt like forever. Oh, time travel theories! When something finally had happened, it terrified me to no end. Oh? Sakura had begun to yell loud as if she were being chased by something. She that must be like, like, or like a green screen eyes, creature or something. actually. But yeah. nothing was there. It's the same PNG, but with was the more green screen. Terrifying. Oh! Sakura screamed. But it wasn't just that's like this. That's like the season f season four um, finale, um, episode twenty-five with Twilight. 
That wasn't the end of it, however. Oh? It continued onward with Zakora uttering coughs, choked cries of pain and mercy, and lastly, a collapse to the floor, her eyes oh. shutting. She can see the danger. not to intervene, but I was scared for her safety as much as Fluttershy's. And right as I made an attempt to help Zakora in whatever trance she may have been in, oh? she jumped upward with a large intake of breath, along with blood leaking from her tear ducts. Oh my god. She breathed heavily, along with Fluttershy's It's dangerous to go into someone's to mind sometimes. Well. It could I'm be sure some demon do, inside her. I Zakora back up, but as soon as I made an attempt the to wipe the blood demon? away, she pushed away my hoof. The tears contain the answers you seek. Wipe them away. You'll destroy everything. Everything? I was in a state of complete disturbance that upon that rhyme. Seat, but didn't argue, allowing Zakora to follow through with whatever she planned to do next. A next is took a small flask and caressed them across where the bloody tears had seeped from her sockets, collecting them like and that. approaching her large cauldron. She dropped the contents of the flask into the brewing cauldron, and what followed was what seemed like some form it's of a like she's being put some played within something the of for the mind in, of in the cup within the cauldron's contents is that the scene even um, at a hasty speed away from flutterbat high in the sky the scene played out in horde fashion flutterbat is she Fluttershy is it a, a replay of flutterbat though her screams and pleas for mercy matching my smith had I know it's, in the trance now it's made of harry potter now the I the, the pensive for to stop the gruesome scene being played out. The scenario being it's like the pensive in Sakura's cauldron. Sakura followed my pleas, breaking the scene as fast as she could muster. Oh, Flash I, I mean, Raymond. Flash I is her. getting up. Both of us Raymond Dash is getting sad. Fuck that sake. we both had just witnessed. It took a while for Fluttershy and I to calm down. Sakura being kind enough to give us hospitality until we were calm enough to leave on our own. She had even put on a pot of tea to help calm the mind, as Sakura put it. Calm the and, mind? Strangely enough, it did help. To a certain all extent. Three of us were calmed to a stable state. The end result of how to go about fixing Fluttershy's current position. That's fine, babes. I'm not, it's not excessive uh, uh, squaring. Sakura looked shaken by the whole thing, which scared Fluttershy and I both. This is worse than I could have thought. Oh? There is no cure for Fluttershy, I fear not. The scene you just bared is not the last. Indeed, the show will come to pass. My little How pony? To stop this is not an easy feat. You both must be strong if you wish. It's to only succeed. when it comes since the says it's I will never swearing the that same. you can get demonetized. You, but I, I a, a random swear word in, in in one never video. Never give up on the mere like, one, that, that's no, that normally be okay. Be very rough. Yes. A time will come when you must decide to do what is right. Oh, it will not be easy, no. Yeah. It will be a great plight. Choosing what is right and not is, 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 is I can hate part of it as I swear. Is for you to Choosing what is right and what is easy. I never would have imagined just how relevant those words were until yeah. it did come to pass. Yeah. Sakura wasn't lying, but being me, I just felt confused on what she meant. Unfortunately, it you will find the truth soon or later. No um, more than Rainbow. a week later, the nightmares continuously got worse. Up to the point that Flutters couldn't even sleep and had practically become a night owl. Or, should I say, a night bat. Night bat? The signs had begun to show. But I refused to believe that Flutter Bat was something that could even be a factor. I was dead wrong, and I had it's, begun to see. Well, sleep. in a sense, Flutter Bat is but still a part I of her. It, he hasn't I, really left her, has it? It's too late. Very too late. late. To too save late her. To save her. I said that! Becoming a restless pony was only the start. Oh my gosh! To something even more I'm sorry, I thought that was a demented. more closer shot with Rainbow Dash. Fluttershy had gone from kind and sweet to voracious, snappy, and violent. Every time that I tried to talk about to her, she'd snap back not once to the, even talk about Look at the state of her mind! At times would even resort to trying to bite me or pin me down like prey. Luckily, she came back to her senses before she could do anything violent. Look at the color of, of her eyes! And claiming that she didn't want to hurt me. Her eyes, her eyes had also developed a bloody tint to them, and every time she'd even glare at me, I'd blood start to get a red sense eyes. Of fear. I, I can't I... describe it, 
but there was always something about that stare that made every inch of my body size on my body. And I didn't have any other explanation except that somehow, some way, Flutterbat was back. I'm I back for and made uh, an adventure to get Fluttershy sorry. help, but she refused it. And the more I enticed her on the subject, she told yeah, Fluttershy will um I refused it. That's that's when it happened. What happened? She actually bit me. Oh my god! And not just a little nip. Oh my god! She actually bit into my right foreleg like a predator would to its helpless prey. Ray that isn't the scary Oh my part, gosh. Though. Maybe that shit no. is, um, cursed. The horror unfolded when she caught the scent of my blood protruding out of my wound. The bite force was unbelievable. It'd be flutter all dash. All I could do was shout in complete and utter pain. No, flutter bat. free of her grasp. Um, rainbow and bat. And the scent of my crimson yeah, rainbow bat. Blood, the bite force increased. Rainbow bat. Rainbow old. bat. Screaming is all I remember doing. Too afraid to try pulling free of her hold. Knowing that if I did, I'd lose a limb. You just passed on I the position on the rainbow dash. I just I begged to Celestia that it was just a terrible nightmare. It's it no like nightmare! Forever, but eventually I came to the solution that no pony could hear my screams or pleas of sheer pain. Both no one can hear you! the pain in my heart of what I had to do to get free. Well, technically I can see you! Knowing no in pony was coming yeah. to save me, I closed my eyes and threw all of my strength into a last ditch effort in the form of a blow. Could Raymond die? Right, because... Connecting right to the side of Fluttershy's head! Oh god. The blow had caused her teeth to cut through untainted flesh, causing even more blood to spill from my wounds. But it was enough oh, to put yeah. that, that that thing that had bit me into a temporary slumber. The bite force receded. Your curse for life, Rainbow. The grip on my forearm enough, I pulled That's like vampires, wind. isn't it? Not f is that when vampires? I saw the damage. I Flut flutter. I, I wanted to vomit. Yeah, there it's were like, two the, very it's like a werewolf. Marks on my isn't it? flesh that had penetrated past the muscle into the bone. Oh! I was smart not to try pulling free while it was still awake. Otherwise, I would have lost my right forearm and would have probably Ooh. bled to death. Yeah. I made haste with my wound, wrapping it tight with a bandage to stop the bleeding. But the real danger was that Flutterbat was only knocked out temporarily. And I need to yeah, find some way it to it won't last long before though. I opened its eyes again. I followed my first instinct and flew quickly to the Golden Oak Library. Golden Oak Library? Very irritated Twilight. Oh. oh come However, on! once she Thank saw my wound and the blood that had begun to seep out of the bandage, she quickly took the initiative to find out why I had come to her in the middle of the night in such a frantic state. Is it a I cursed wound as well? And Twilight was just as shocked as I was. The element of kindness would never commit such a violent and horrifying act. And that remains true, because my Fluttershy did not do it. Flutterbat did. Yeah. Yeah, not- Applejack's help. Night of the Flutterbat! To the monster That's my, um, reading. Else. I read it too. However, not my, I didn't write it, but no I voiced it. To go in from there, except no. to Celestia in hopes of some miracle cure. We didn't. Instead, I Twilight think, attempted I think to it's use too the late. same spell she did Ra to rid of Fluttershy of Fluttershy before. I hate to say we this, it's too late. We hoped solve the problem. But hope was lost in this endeavor. Yeah. It only made it more violent and aggressive. And Twilight, wanting to see if she could find a solution first, scavenged her library for any books to do with entities or possession. Yeah. Which at the time, seemed sensible. Yeah, um... Yeah. While Twilight yeah. and the others worked on finding some miracle cure to save Fluttershy, Fluttershy, yeah, I kept yeah. hoping that she would just return to normal, just like she always. Did. It won't turn to normal. And so that marks the beginning of my downfall. I just wanted things to go back to normal. That one day the mare I had wed would come back to me. Oh my gosh, Rainbow! Wishful thinking, Rainbow Dash. Weeks passed, turning into months. Is she by dead, the time though? we had ran out of solutions, dead, 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 it was dead, dead, close dead. to a year. A year? We had tried everything. Spells, homemade remedies, ridiculous Are you, look, are you, are you looking for a cure? All I don't, I don't think there's a cure to Flutterbat. It's like, you can't cure being a vampire. You can't cure, uh... Fire. With nowhere else to go, 
We contacted you can't Celestia. cure being a uh, eons that she would have an werewolf. answer to this. There's no cure. More like praying to false gods that never existed. It's cursed wounds, Rainbow. She arrived not long after sending the letter and confronted the the thing, thing. that we had kept confined to chains in one of Applejack's spare barns. The creature. Open that spare barns! I thought it was set on fire. Bloodlust and bared its fangs as defense. Celestia was shaken by the sight, and as she attempted to get closer, that thing just continued oh my to finally lunge Why is she at her, tied up? being pulled down by the chains each I think time. it may be for our own safety, maybe. Oh, come I, on! I hate Thank it. you, Sweetie Bell! I hated all of it. Every moment, minute, and second that I had to watch might be loving and pain. Lost in some world she couldn't escape. It hurt more I like than the, anything. I, like, I do like the and indescribable pain the, in the that video. I couldn't explain, knowing Fluttershy was in there somewhere, lost to the eons, in search of her friends and the mare she loved. Oh, it she can't change me. back. And as much as I wanted to just you kill can't that control your he, he, can, you can't I control your condition. It was as if what about the wolfbane potion, the Hay Hay Potter? Knowing I couldn't do a damn thing. I was angry, sad. Hurts, angry and lost in a conflict. I Not the lost narrator again. Narrator, but it just bloody hell! To devour me, I could only sit there and just and just do nothing. You can't do nothing, Rainbow. The pain would only continue to worsen at the answer to Celestia's attempt to rid the monster that plagued the mare I loved. Oh, Celestia sorry, attempted sorry, some Rainbow. sort of mind spell to search for the soul that had been lost to a void of unadulterated darkness. But all efforts would fail. Yeah. Along with an answer that would destroy me mentally and physically, and physically. forever. Forever. Hours passed. Hours of suspense, emotions, and anticipation. Until a sudden heavy intake of air in the form of a fearful gasp emanated from <gasps> Celestia, reminding me exactly of the day when Zakor performed her mind del potion, minus the blood leaking from her tear ducts. More, more mind control. I could control. only stand in shock as she collapsed to the barn floor, landing hard. This was the moment that would change me. Oh, change me into a demon. Oh, a flat monster. Rainbow back. Helping her back up, Celestia gave me the most brutal and tragic response I could have never been prepared for. Ooh. Well, well anything? anything? Maybe that's a little bit weird, there. I... I don't have- Celestia had taken a sudden pause, which I knew immediately meant I'm bad so news. sorry, Rainbow. But my I'm very, very sorry. My judgment, making the next words all the more impactful. I- I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash. I searched for her as long as I could, but all that she I escaped. saw was darkness. Flutter oh, she's seen- in the void, Oh, yeah, okay, she's seen through the mind as well, like Sakura. Okay. Fluttershy! It had to be her. Who else could it have been? Rainbow uh, Dash. All I saw. Was all I saw fear was, was dead. It. Say it! I regret how I responded so arrogantly. All Celestia was trying to do was help. But again, I was masked by the one for my beloved to be I returned don't think from you can point. get help, Rainbow. Twilight cut in, knowing that I had been in the wrong for acting so selfish. Rainbow, please calm. Please calm down, please. So begun the death of the element of loyalty. You sorry, calm babe, down. sorry, babe. Applejack Ooh. had cut in quickly, seeing every other pony present was too stunned or scared to act. Do I not angry? Twilight's just trying to heal. Calm yourself. I'll calm down when I have my Fluttershy back. We all want Fluttershy back, Sugar Cube. But we're getting nowhere by causing an unnecessary Is it the first stage no of reason. grief? Is that the first stage of grief or and like the de rest depression? Of us, depression. Like, I don't know. It's Applejack was right. It's like, so I just it's like grief, isn't it? Celestia to speak at last. It's first sign of depression. That the next word spoken would be what would kill me in more ways than one. Oh. I... I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash. I'm very but sorry. But all I saw in the void was... Death! The creature that now bears Fluttershy's form. Fluttershy is non-existent, and I'm afraid... 
I'm afraid that she's lost to the darkness. As I couldn't sense her in the she void. She joined. Flash Eye has joined her. the dark side. She is yes. a mentor. I'm sorry, Rainbow. <laughs> sorry. But your beloved is is gone. Oh my God. Gone. Broken. Gone. Gone. That or was the gone. The only word that could describe how I felt. She's gone through the and veil. Never extorted anger or went Ooh, into black and white. outrage and denial. I and like the mixed colors there as well. My heart shattered and my will to live. Gone. Gone. Very gone. I didn't speak or even move a muscle. The words sunk in like knives penetrating flesh. Oh my, my leaking wounds spilling blood as cold as ice. A sacrifice. I wasn't sure what happened. Nor could I even describe it. No. I just fell into a state of shock where I hoped to unite with the mirror I had but lost. I, I think to you're still cursed, Rainbow, aren't you? One that now mocked me with its stare and overall appearance. And coming out of the darkness that now bore my form, oh, I didn't do anything. Except Decipher. scream in agonizing pain, hoping for my beloved Fluttershy to hear my calls. Oh, God. But no answer ever came. We had tried everything, and all attempts had failed. You failed. Now where did I go? I don't think you failed, Rainbow. What did I do? Cry? Die? Go on living? My friends tried Accepting, to comfort me in my maybe. loss, I don't know. but all I could think of was two words. What now? I had no idea, and would never know until I came to the Help realization of what be I there, had to Rainbow, do to I free think. myself and Fluttershy of the corruption and pain. What about the curse, though? Are you sure you, you've been moment, cursed? Like a culmination of emotions that could not be tamed by any creature, no matter their age or how experienced they may be. Yeah. The day when I saw my beloved behind the facade of a mockery, a cry for help. Yeah. For freedom. Oh, Rainbow. I had isolated myself from every one of my friends and family to try and handle the Depression! pain of my own. But in the nutshell, that I had betrayed my hiding own Hiding away from people, and like until in I saw thanks the for the memories. Of myself in the mirror that dreadful morning, I, I just wanted to die away in my own self agony. But. Is it? But I couldn't. Is that the first stage of grief or the second stage of grief? Or of third prison. stage, I'm not sure. When you shut yourself away it, or something. It hit hard. Very but hard. I knew it was right. Oh come on! It felt wrong, Oh sweetie Belle, really? I pounded it into my head that the creature before me was not my beloved. No. It took me months to get to where I had stood, hoping and praying that Celestia was wrong. But but its appearance was But the creatures to took her. What does the creature look like? Fluttershy wasn't dead. She no. was trapped. Oh, come on! And I had to Thank free you. her through an act of kindness. That reminds me of, um, my eyes as I walked um, Pony the creature, of Shadows. Its skin a pale yellow, eyes blood red, and its once Pegasus wings, now bat wings. Yeah. Even the cutie mark had changed from three beautiful pink butterflies to three pink vampire bats. Oh god. Sealing the nail in the coffin. Oh dear. I gripped the knife in my hoof tightly. Oh, my oh no, 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 not the knife! Me. Not the knife! What once was the most beautiful mare in Equestria was now nothing but an eyesore. Bruised scars were visible where the constraints attached to its limbs. You can you kill yourself, blood. Rainbow? You're gonna kill the flat bat. Back down to the floor by the chains that held it contained to the Wait, fragile shed. I now Rainbow got his knife towards her. Staring though. with anger, my friends behind me holding their emotions, I confronted the monster that had torn me down physically and mentally over the past year. Oh dear! Gripping the knife and intentionally showing it the scar it had given me that one night. Oh. Put it down the knife, Rainbow! at the sight of the scar, but I gave it no emotions to feed off. I only gave it a glare, my magenta the eyes stare. meeting its piercing crimson eyes. I wanted it to know that I was neither afraid or sad. I wanted it to know that I would not cower any longer, that You're gonna this kill was yourself. the last time it would violate the sight of what once was the mirror I loved. I wanted it to fear me. Why? That's Holding bad. Holding the knife up, the being cowered as I spoke my last words to it. Oh. I... Love I'm you. I'm sorry, Flutters. For everything. But now... 
But now I know what I need to do. What do you need to do? The fell creature lunged toward me in a selfless attempt to stop what I was about to do. But with careful aim... Flash, I still in there, though. I freed her. You freed her? The blade penetrated the monster's windpipe. And oh my god! Choking sounds as I felt the oh my god! blood begin to run down my forearm like a waterfall. Please. Oh, please shit. I, I love you. And, oh, and I always will. I pulled the blood-soaked blade oh, from the shit. creature. Oh, shit! Watching oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! It convulsed for what seemed like forever, but eventually the gasps for air and emanations of choking on blood died I'm down. So I'm sorry, Flutch. I really am sorry. Did, I felt something I hadn't felt in a long time. Peace Freedom. And harmony. As if an unbearable weight had been lifted from my shoulders at long last. But I have you the killed the actual the bat, the or have you killed Fluttershy, or both? I cried. I broke. My wings falling to the floor, and my emotions pouring out in a fit of sadness unlike any other. Yeah. I, I felt like a filly who had stubbed their hoof and had no shame in it, knowing oh. that this had to happen in order for my beloveds to be freed of the corruption of Flutterbat. She wasn't in Have you actually anymore. saved her though? Or trapped in a labyrinth of darkness with no exit. She... She was free. The tears continued to She's fall, free? But is she free? To comfort me. Is she free, 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 free? Me, knowing that I too had been freed. No. I was corrupted with anger and denial. But now that the darkness that both my beloved and I had become lost in had been extinguished. Yeah. I could move on. I could move on you... at last, knowing she is free from that monster. And while but she's dead though, like she? Absolute hell. I took it with all the strength I could muster. My life has not been the same since. No. And it never will it... be. No, you won't be, no. To lose your beloved is one thing. Yes. But to lose yourself at the same time is almost impossible to come back from once the dust has settled. That's so true. But in the end, I did come back from it, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Fluttershy's absence here still hurts like hell, but it also helps me to remember so that part that of you is, back from is the broken or something. That had put me in. All thanks to the one thing that Fluttershy taught all of us. What's that? If we kindness. all just show a little kindness, we can all see things in a different light. Like with the Manator, Magator, Magmentor. Okay. Oh god. I do like the piano music, but my god. Okay, that was Sparrow Reed, an act of kindness, my little pony, trusty, romance, flutterdash. Okay, I do like the music in this um in this story, but if those sort of music, then you can tell it's a sad, a sad um tale. How Rainbow Dash is um talking about what happened, and I suspect she, when she was talking at the start, she's I think she's talking to like a like a doctor, a psychiatrist. She's talking to Doctor Colstein. Seriously. <laughs> sorry, Abaloon. I really am sorry. Oh gosh, she, she, she okay. It could be a, she's talking to a, a journal. But she's definitely talking to some pony oh, about. I'm very sorry, Sweetie Belle. I think she's talking to either a psychiatrist or a diary or f talking to Twilight. Maybe her second lover. I didn't expect them to get married. I thought, okay, normally a marriage is another sort of freedom. But she's starting to have nightmares. It's like part of Flutterback was already in Fluttershy. Flutterback. Flutter. Flutterbat has never left Flutshy, and probably the demon inside um, Flutshy, not Annie, is kind of waiting for the right moment to manifest, taking the, finding the right time to manifest to change um, Flutshy back to Flutterbat. And like I said in 
in my story, if you haven't read it, it's like um Flash of Flutterbat and Flutshy are totally different characters entirely. I even, I even remember, I can't remember re- recording it, but Flutshy is kind and timid. She's like, it's like a different pony in Flutterbat. It's like the darkness is taking over her. I don't think I'm getting them mixed up in a sense. I know they're two different, uh, beings, two different forms. It's like Flutterbat is basically the darker version of Flutterbat, in a sense it is. But it's living within Fluttershy, like it's a the dark, like a, like a one of her dark souls, one of her dark sides in Fluttershy. Thanks to the thanks to the thank by fruit bats and Wade Rainbow felt it was right to bring a knife to kill Fluttershy. That reminds me of Harry Potter again. Now I come to realise it. In terms of like when Harry walked into the forest, like he knew he was going to die, I'm about to die, going going to die, and there was no emotion about it, and it's quite sad at the end of the end of, end of the um story. Rainbow Dash kind of killed Fluttershy, no, or Flutterbat. She kind of killed Flutterbat because she loves Fluttershy, and we can't. I don't know, there's no cure for Flutterbat at all. Or a bat, or a pony bat in a, in a terms of a, a, like a cure or potion. Because Cora couldn't really help. All she did was go into Flutterbat's mind. Like, Flutterbat killed, Flutterbat killed, um, Flutterbat because she loves Flutterbat. Because if she didn't kill, if she didn't have the knife, it couldn't oh, be. Come on! Very sorry, um, sweet boy, it's the truth. Every pony will be in danger as well. And you, and in a sense, Fluttershy is still suffering because of it. There's no cure. It's like the roof bone potion in Harry Potter. There's no, no cure for these sort of things. And the only way to make it peaceful is to kill the pony. I wonder how did, uh, Lupin died in Harry Potter. How comes I thought is it I thought werewolf you can't kill a werewolf. I'm um, think, thinking about um vampires. Maybe thinking about vampires. Yeah. Yes, it's a very, very sad story. Rainbow Dash felt it was the right thing to do. In my opinion it, it may be it might be the right thing to do to to stop the suffering for Fluttershy, in a sense. Yes. Well that's my take on the things. Well, the title of the video is not Grimdark, stating that no one died. But what do you think? Do you think Fluttershy is dead? Or do you have a theory about what happened? Thank you, phones. Or phone. Do you think Fluttershy is alive? Do you think he's dead? Or do you think only Flutterbat side of her is, is dead? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Well, hopefully you like this reaction and all my reaction videos I do. And I will see you next time. Oh, yes. No, no, no.